Hello, welcome to my talk. Today, I'm going to introduce to you Explanit, a framework for constructing explainable opinion graphs from reviews. This is the joint work with my colleagues listed above. The web contains all sorts of text data. Some data mainly contains factual or objective information, such as Wikipedia or news articles. Meanwhile, a large portion of the text data is largely subjective. For example, user reviews from online shopping, travel booking, or restaurant reservation websites. Reading and writing text data from the web have become an integral part for many people's daily lives. Therefore, in order to support many downstream analytics and applications, substantial efforts have been made to extract useful information from the text. To represent such extracted information, in particular objective or factual information, the most well-known representation is knowledge bases formed by entities and relationships between entities. However, unlike objective data, much less effort has been made to provide a uniformed representation for subjective data. One of the most well-known works in extracting subjective data from text is the aspect-based sentiment analysis task. The ABSA task focuses on extracting aspect-based opinions from reviews. The output of ABSA task often consists a set of opinion phrases. This representation allows easy and fast interpretation, but compared to knowledge bases on objective data, this representation may not be sufficient to form a concise and comprehensive view of the subjective information in the reviews. This is because first, it does not consider relationship between opinions, and second, there could be many duplicate opinions which cause difficulties for both downstream applications and end users. In this work, we propose a new representation for subjective information, the opinion graphs. Just like knowledge bases over objective data, we use nodes to represent unique opinions extracted from reviews, and we use edges to represent the relationship between opinions. In this work, we mainly consider explanation relationship because we find this is the most common relationship between opinions. There are four key features for opinion graph representation. First, it allows easier interpretation as we use opinion phrases to describe the subjective information. Second, it forms a concise view of the opinions since semantically similar opinions are grouped together and represented in a single node. Third, it is explainable thanks to the relationship between opinions. And finally, our representation is entity specific. This is mainly because opinions are only similar or form an explanation relationship under specific conditions. Towards the goal, Besides mining opinion phrases from raw reviews, just as what ABSA model does, there are many missing steps. After extracting opinions, we need to identify opinions that form explanation relationships. Moving forward, we need to canonicalize semantically similar opinions and represent them in a single node. Finally, we need to reconcile data collected from previous steps to form the opinion graph. As we see here, this forms our four-step framework. In this framework, the explanation mining and opinion phrase canonicalization steps are our core technical contributions and will be the focus of this talk. Let's first take a look at the explanation mining step. Given the review, we first run the opinion mining step and collected two extracted opinions, very noisy room and consistent grinding sound. 
based on the review context, it is, it is very easy for us to understand that one explanation for the first extracted opinion, very noisy room, is actually the second opinion, consistent grinding sound. Therefore, given the review context and extracted opinions from the review, the explanation mining problem essentially to classify whether one opinion explains the other. To address this classification task, it is natural to first consider two existing classification solutions. The first is the textual entailment models, which only considers two extracted opinions while the second is the modification of the classic sentence classification model, where we can embed extracted opinion phrases in the sentence. However, both models have their own limitations. The RTE models completely ignore context information in the reviews, and the sentence classification model does not explicitly consider or emphasize word level alignment between the extracted opinions. To overcome such limitations, we propose a multitask classification model to perform this task. This is the model architecture. Let me emphasize three key features here. First, our model contains two tasks, the main explanation classification task and an auxiliary review classification task. Note that the auxiliary classification task determines whether the review contains any opinions that are in explanation relationship. And the goal of this task is to identify context signals from input reviews. The main task is the explanation classification task. And the goal is to identify if one opinion explains the other. To perform this task, the model leverages both the contact signals from the reviews and the word alignment signals from input opinions. Finally, the last key feature of our classification model is the use of opinion masks, which allows reviews and opinions to share the same features. Our evaluation confirmed the effectiveness of our proposed model. As we can see, our model performs substantially better than retrained RTE models and sentence classification models. In addition, our obligation study confirms that both the review classification and explanation classification tasks are essential to obtain optimal performance. Let's review what we have so far. From the opinion mining step, we get a collection of extracted opinions formed by aspect and opinion terms, as well as aspect and sentiment labels. From the explanation mining step, we know the explanation relationship between opinions. After collecting such information, the next step is to merge similar opinions to construct the opinion graph. Well, a natural way to perform this task is to use the averaged word embeddings of opinions and then run some clustering algorithms. However, this approach may not be the ideal solution. Here, we, we visualized averaged word embeddings of opinions in two-dimensional space. As we can see here, opinions of similar semantics but different words are quite apart from each other. For example, all three highlighted opinions talk about the same, same, same opinion, but uh, they're quite apart from each other in, in embedding space. Meanwhile, opinions of different semantics but similar words are close to each other. For example, very close to tram and very close to the ocean are different, but they are very close. Similarly, two minute walk to beach, two minute walk to zoo, and good location near ocean and good location near the zoo. The main issue of using averaged word embedding is that it is not optimized by labels acquired from previous steps. 
Therefore, in order to fully utilize information or labels acquired from previous steps, we propose a new embedding fine-tuning model. Again, let me skip the technical details here, but emphasize two technical features. First, our embedding fine-tuning model embeds aspect terms and opinion terms separately. Second, it includes three losses to ensure the quality of the embeddings. The clustering loss ensures the embeddings are good for clustering purpose. The classification loss leverages the aspect and sentiment labels collected from the opinion mining step. And finally, the intercluster loss ensures that the embeddings of the opinions in explanation relationships are apart from each other. Our fine-tuning embeddings look much better. As shown, now opinions with similar semantics but different words are close to each other. Now, all the highlighted opinions are talk about the same thing and they're very close to each other. Similarly, good location near the zoo and two minute walk to the zoo, although they share very few words, but they're close to each other. Meanwhile, opinions with different semantics but similar words are apart. For example, very close to tram and very close to ocean, which are used to be close to each other when using averaged word embeddings, but now they're very, very far from each other. Similarly, two-minute walk to beach and two-minute walk to zoo. Our automatic evaluation also confirms the quality of the fine-tuned embeddings. As we can see, our embeddings can make consistent improvement across two different domains. We further conduct human evaluation on the precision of the framework. We randomly pair opinion clusters and ask human annotators to label the accuracy of the opinion code clusters and their relationships. Our model obtained above 77 accuracy. Finally, we evaluate the usefulness of our opinion graphs again through human evaluation. Note that more than 80% of human annotators find our opinion clusters and explanations useful. In addition, Based on this framework, we build a demo to allow users to navigate reviews interactively. Thanks again for listening. To summarize, in this talk, I present Explanit, a framework to construct explainable opinion graphs from hundreds of reviews. The construction pipeline includes four steps while the explanation mining and the opinion phrase canonicalization steps are our core technical contributions. If you are interested in this work, please check out our demo and our GitHub repository.